Pfaff Creative 1471. Power button is located on the lower right below the panel. Put your thread on the spool holder inside. If it is too fat, you can lift up the secondary spool holder and put it on there. Or you can use both if you're using a twin needle. To thread the machine, pull the thread, bring it through back here, down on the right hand side, around, and back up. Come in on the left hand side of this hook, and then back down on the right. And then through this little part right here, which I cannot do one handed, so pause and then thread your needle. To thread your bobbin, you want to make sure that your thread is coming out of the back side of the needle and then over to the right so that it's not twisted around the needle because that will mess up your tension. Bring the thread up, flip this little lever forward, get the hook caught in that front hook and then around the back side and over. Bring your thread from the inside of the bobbin and through the small hole in the bobbin spool. You do want to use the clear Pfaff bobbins because this machine is equipped with a sensor which will let you know when you're almost out of bobbin thread and if you get the metal Pfaff bobbins, that will not work. Put your bobbin on the peg there and push it over to the right until it snaps into place. Disengage your needle by turning this counterclockwise approximately a quarter of a turn. Hold your thread and step on your presser foot. Snip that, that didn't break. Where's my snippers? Uh, you don't want to get that caught up in the bobbin. Usually that'll break for me. Okay. And I watch sometimes on this machine it doesn't screw in evenly. If it starts to get heavy, it looks like it's doing good this time, but if it starts to get heavy on the top or bottom, just direct your thread. When the spool is full, it will stop. Push that forward, and don't forget to turn this back clockwise, or your needle will not go up and down when you sew. There is a thread cutter in this right in there, which you have to make sure you don't get the thread caught in that when you're threading through to do your bobbin. To access the bobbin, you just swing this forward and off to the left and open this door and that is where your bobbin case will be. I already took it out. To thread the bobbin, I'm not going to fully be able to do this you want to hold the bobbin in your left hand with that little tab. Part way out, I th yes, I always hold it with the tab. And then hold your bobbin thread, your bobbin, in your right hand with the thread coming off the top 
and towards the front. Keeping the thread going away from you, pop the bobbin in and then you're going to pull the thread forward into the slot right there. See that slot? And then up under this piece and out this little hole. So it should be coming out of that hole when you're done. Keep that out so that your bobbin doesn't fall out on you. And put it on Okay, that still fell out on me. I don't know if you saw that, so I'm going to kind of hold it at an angle until I get it to that pin. And put it on the pin in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. It's been a while since I've put it on there. So the open part you want upwards that makes sense towards the top and then the thread should be coming out to the left and then just bring your needle down holding your thread bring your needle back up you can see it loop right around there and grab the bobbin thread and when your needles up just gently pull on that and then your thread will be right there to pull them both through. And you're ready to sew. Close your door. Swing that closed. And you are ready to sew.